Hey YouTube! In this video I will unbox and show you how to install a ductless mini split heat pump by Fujitsu and its model 9RLS3HY. It's a 9000 BDU unit and HY stands for hyperheat. So let's begin. Alright, so when you're removing vinyl siding it's best to use a siding removal tool. However, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware and uh, pretty much all local Home improvement stores stop selling siding removal tools, so I can't find mine, and I'm gonna be using this piece uh, just to unlock my first panel. Then it's gonna become easier. But uh, if you're planning to remove vinyl siding, uh, I highly recommend getting the hook, and uh, I'll put the link in the description below for the the best hook that you can get. <clears throat> Let me see where I want to start. So about three feet off the ground, right here. All right, so what you want to do is unlock, lock it here. Now, if it's very cold, uh, you may have issues unlocking it. You can crack your vinyl siding. And when you nail it back on, make sure that you have about one eighth of an inch clearance between the nail and the siding otherwise it's gonna buckle and uh, you don't want that you want it to be able to move freely like just like so okay you see i can move it that's how you want it to be Right, so now I need to find my studs because I don't know where they are. So I'm gonna use a stud finder. Um, it's actually a pretty good one. I got it off Amazon. Uh, I tried the ones sold at Home Depot and <laughs> they just suck. They basically don't even turn on. So let me show you. So this is the stud finder I'm gonna use. And uh, as you see, when it finds obstruction behind it, kinda shows you just like so. Okay, so it shows me that I have like a stud all the way up to here. Something like that. Now let me try it. Yeah, exactly 16 inches on center between this mark and that one. All right, so here's my stud finder. Okay. Hopefully see it. Well, so this is where my stud is. And the next one is right here. And I'm gonna do a test cut and uh, make sure it's actually a stud. And also here. All right, so let's make our test cut to make sure that I uh, actually have studs here. And the reason we want to, to use a stud is provides the best support and pull out support for our condenser because condenser is pretty heavy. So I'm going to use these really long roofing screws. I'm going to use a lot of them. I'm also going to use uh, large washers to hold my boards onto it. Okay, so um, let's measure three feet of the ground, give or take. Let's actually go like, uh, yeah, three feet. So right here is our mark. 
and the other mark we'll do using a level we don't want to go off the ground because it's not level and i don't trust the siding the siding is slightly off level by about quarter inch or maybe even half inch from this point all the way to the end and that's why you want to do it with a level we're almost ready to begin but at this point what i want to do is actually take apart my mounting bracket and make sure that it's gonna fit properly on these wood blocks here so i'm gonna pause real quick and uh take it apart and see what's going on and then i'll show you <laughs> 